My name is Ken Roxon and I am from Machet, Germany. What excites me the most lining up for World Supercross is first of all that this year we have more races than two. Um, I'm excited to go to new countries, get a little bit of sense of culture again after being in the US for many, many years. And of course also racing dudes that I raced back in the day when I still lived in Europe. I've had a really hard time over the motocross season over these past couple of years with my body and some of the health issues and I feel like at this point I have it under control pretty well and had a great supercross season so far in the US and I really thought hard about it if it's worth it for me going to the outdoors and just beating my body into the ground again and um, why not become a supercross specialist throughout the entire year and now with the world supercross uh, starting to take off and having more and more rounds I got plenty of races throughout the summer that I can do and um, it's kind of like, I feel like the best of both worlds. I get to go to different countries and also go to Germany and interact with fans that uh, can't spend all the money to fly to the US to watch us. Competing in Germany at the world stage is insane. Like that's probably one of the races that I look forward to the most. Of course, me being from Germany and um, show them what I'm all about and, and show them uh, some real supercross racing. There's so many great countries like Singapore for example. I've never been there and, and, and to expand on the culture side of things is huge for me. It's just a different feeling especially when you've been, I've been in the US for a long time and haven't been able to get out of the country you know so I love Melbourne Australia and it's really every single one of them I'm, I'm looking forward to. I like a lot of different kinds of sports and I like doing them. So I have a lot of outlets and, and content that I can create. I've always felt the need to um, not just be a racer, but also have an image that does random cool stuff. And that's not forced, like that's just me trying to have fun. It probably comes pretty easy to me just because I've always been pretty spun out. And I used to grow up watching American videos like Terra Firma and Motor Triple X was one of my favorite ones and they just had a lot of style and steez and character to them you know they didn't just race and I've always kind of held on to that and even though it, that era kind of has faded away and everything has changed I've always tried to keep a little bit in me and uh, do something cool that I hope that people appreciate I like to I guess live live on the edge truly the amount of time that we're racing with that many guys at absolute max heart rate is, is absolutely brutal and not to mention the the track changes every single lap, you know? It, we, we race in open stadiums most of the time, so we always have different track conditions, and which every lap that we do in soft dirt, it changes and it gets super gnarly and very G'd out and ruddy, so that your bike setup has such a huge impact on how comfortable you are on the bike, so there's a lot of moving parts on the bike. I guess it's just a never-ending story when it comes to testing and uh, coming to different track conditions. It could be hot out, you know, so there's a lot of different style of racing that we have to sustain. I think some of the critical components is that we get everything in order and we come organized, right? I think the crew is super important and then of course having a good base set up for your bike too because the whole testing side of things and, and changing stuff is going to be a lot more difficult going to different continents and then flying all over the place. Uh, we don't have our semi there with all the stuff so stuff has to get boxed up properly and uh, so I think having uh, guys behind and having a proper plan and not be rushed and, and just come organized I think is huge. Racing with the Progressive XR Suzuki team over this 2023 season has been nothing short of amazing. I, I really feel at home. I think this is probably the most fun I've ever had in a season. What keeps me motivated of working so hard is that I made a big change in my, my life last year. Um, I left a team that I was with for a long period of time and I just feel like the candle got burnt down and um, that had a huge effect on me throughout the last couple of years. And once I started getting the ball rolling with these World Supercross rounds that really opened my eyes on how much fun the sport can be and switching teams at that point was the best thing I could have done. And I guess I just opened up and saw something different and, and kind of just really got motivated to chase my dream to become really good again and learn to love it again because it is super tough. and. Even though I struggled at this point right now, I think me and the team, we've done a really good job of coming back. This is one of the best seasons I've had so far here in, in 2023. I just started chasing my dreams again because I wanted to, you know? It didn't matter about what everybody else's decision was or what I should do. I followed my gut and my heart. I never gave up, even though I had some really, really, really dark times. And only me and some close friends really know how 
I guess, miserable I was just internally, right? And to turn everything around and come out on the bright side for me personally, is uh, it's been really cool and it has been a learning experience. I'm doing a lot better now and I'm content with everything that I've done so far.